Oh my God. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. To this, to this day, Deontay Wilder is raising some concerns, almost red flags with his pre-fight banter. Is it to sell the fight? Is this his real thoughts? I mean, is he having doubts? That's what I want to talk about in this video. Deontay Wilder says, I don't think the heavyweight division is exciting without Deontay Wilder in it. But come Saturday night, we'll see. Pay attention. Wilder says, will I prevail? Who knows? But on Saturday night, it's the true answer. And we're going to see. This could be the end of the career. This could be the final goodbyes. The farewell of Deontay Wilder if I lose. If I win, of course, I go on to bigger and better things. Now, I've already made a video about this subject. Ego, me personally. I am not big on fighters talking about any type of retirement before a fight. I've always said that no matter who the person is, I don't care. Like, I never even heard Floyd Mayweather talk about, like, yeah, this is going to be the last one. Like, we, when he was about to, he beat Pacquiao in 2015. Later that year, to finalize and close his Showtime contract, he beat Andre Berto. Never once do I personally remember Floyd talking about, like, yeah, this is it, retirement. It just kind of happens. That's how I think it should, you should just let it flow. If you know and you talk to your family about it or whatever the case may be, fine i ain't got no problem with that never been a fan of fighters like previewing a retirement or saying like hey if i don't win i'm going to retire from the sport not a fan of it philip ergovich is doing it as well he's on this card versus daniel dubois he's saying stuff if daniel dubois beats me then i'll retire I don't, I personally don't like it. People could do whatever they want. These are grown men, but me personally, I'm not a fan of that. And here's the thing is Wilder keeps saying it in multiple interviews, multiple interviews. Deontay Wilder is suggesting retirement is looming. Should he lose it? Should he lose the fight? And Zilly Zong is a tough out. I don't know Wilder. I don't know what's in him. Uh, no Diddy. But he just continues to take these tough fights after tough fights. And that's just maybe that's what he needs or whatever the case is. But if you want to fight Tyson Fury a fourth time, you want to fight Anthony Joshua. I just feel like Zong is a super difficult matchup for anybody because win, lose or draw. He's a southpaw. He probably is going to outweigh most guys pushing 300 pounds and He's a southpaw that's good. You know, he's big. I've met him. You know, he's a big, big dude. So dangerous fight for Wilder. Could we have possibly seen the end? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. But the fact that Wilder keeps suggesting this, I don't know. The other thing is he's switched up his team. No longer kind of with Mark Breland. That's been a thing. He has Malik Scott as his head trainer. And I feel like his style has evolved after wars with Tyson Fury. They're trying to like almost settle down Wilder and get Wilder into more of a, a boxer, more technique, more finesse. But at age, whatever age he is, mid 30s, late 30s, Wilder kind of is who he is. And he's a late starter in the world of boxing. So you don't want to change too much because if you change too much stylistically, then it becomes a different fighter. I think Wilder is who he is mostly and largely. So trying to implement so much so late, that's like I've seen it in other like industries. Like let's say Brian McKnight. In Brian McKnight's prime, he has songs like Back at One. Right? Cause one, you're like a dream come true to just want to be, you know, these types of like, like melodies and like he's a crooner. But then later on, I remember Brian McKnight, he was coming out with songs like when he was older and it was like raunchier and more like like an R. Kelly vibe. And it was called Let Me Show You How Yo, 
Z work. <laughs> and I just always thought that was weird because in your prime, you weren't singing these types of lyrics. And then now that you're an older man, this is what you choose to sing, you know, versus like a R. Kelly. I mean, he been nasty. He was, give me some of that honey love. Like he, he always had that kind of like sexual overtures and lyrics like in the bravado and stuff like that. So it's just weird when you try to, the bottom line, Smokey Robinson is doing it too. Smokey Robinson is doing different type of music and his lyrics is different than cruising Smokey Robinson. So I kind of feel like that's the same thing with Deontay Wilder where they're working on stuff, but people I think want to see the Wilder of old. It's a riskier style, but I think that's more or less his style. Let me know what you guys think. Does it bother you, yay or nay, that Wilder keeps talking about a potential retirement ahead of a dangerous opponent? And, and you know, I can't be mad at him. He's had a storied career. And I think he's just saying if he can't beat a guy like Zhang and he's off two back-to-back -back losses, then it's probably time. But me, I don't I don't like to preview that. If you're confident, just go into the fight confident. I don't like it where it's like, even if it is a do or die fight for you or a crossroads fight for you, I personally don't like when the fighters outline that. Let me know what you guys think.